Okay, in this video we're just going to have a look at reasons why your timeline might not be exporting as you're kind of expecting. So in in this for example, not everybody edits in this way, but you know, I, I quite often have my main timeline of things and then just outside of that I've got like a few sort of clips that I can swap in, swap out depending on kind of what I'm doing you know this is quite a well it is a very simple edit and you know there's just a few things here but um, what, what you might find is when you export your um, your video you're wanting to just export your in and out points which um, you know I'll quickly show you if you just sort of press I anywhere that'll create an in point press O on the keyboard that'll create the out point so here we want the in point at the start and then my out point is there just as it's dipped to black and as I say, what, what you might find is, especially in the newer versions of Premiere, if you go to export, it's generally what you're always going to want is to export the in and out points. That's just sort of generally how kind of a video editor works. But um, quite often in, um, in the newer versions of Premiere, you'll actually have to go down to this range section because what will happen is uh, sometimes by default it will be entire source. So you start at your end point, as long as that's at the start. Um, and then what happens is it goes all the way to the end, which for me was here. And then you've got this long black section, which is the gap in between the filler clips. And then you've got the ungraded filler clips at the end. Um, so obviously we don't want that. So if we click on this, we can go source into out. And then you can see it's, it's picked up the in and out points from our edit. And it's just going to go from there to there and you know just to that black black bit um, and you can actually you can pull the in and out points in the export as to how you kind of want them so that's actually quite useful that's quite a nice little feature and you, you can actually um, you, you can use either these to do it or you should be able to yeah you can still use the um, the I and the O buttons to to create that so it, it's really just one to kind of say when you're exporting just make sure that you're kind of checking this because i've just edited them here now it's coming as custom because it's not the in and out point in the timeline and it's obviously not the entire source it's something that i've just done here in this and you can go back to the in and out the source in and out points which you can see are almost identical like if i change it back to custom say here and here and then go to the source in and out, you can see it changes it back to essentially the first frame and then the ones that have been marked in the timeline. So um, yeah, that, that's it really. It's quite a simple video, but it's one of those things just to check before you do it because I've in the newer versions of Premiere, I've done it a couple of times with quite big exports, not really check this, you export it. It takes a while to come out and then quite often I'll just watch a video from the start, watch it through, and then you realise right at the end of the video, obviously there's a big gap and, you know, then you've got to re-export it again and I'll always watch it again. So it's just, uh, you know, it could save you a bit of time. Just make sure that you've, you've checked this and it's correct before you hit export and save yourself a bit of time. I do usually go in and I'll check the start and the end of a video, but it's always the times when you don't do that that you end up with you know the wrong export of like the the actual bits that you don't want so yeah that's it really but yeah if that's helped give the video a like if you want to see more content like this then please subscribe